Welcome, Taurus, to your numerology reading for December. I hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. Getting straight into this. Best message for the beginning of 2022. Best message. the effort Ooh. bringing out that 13 for that effort look at that that effort is talking about one having that new beginning and three is going to bring in a lot of happiness um, it even feels like there could be just this happy new kind of beginning because of all the effort that you've been putting through so everything that you've been working towards for 2022 is really feeling like it's got some kind of completion going on over here um, utilizing your inner power. You are stronger than you think. You've been using all this strength all year long. You have the orange for the desire going on over here, working straight to what you want. Um, even when times get down, it feels like when things get tough. I get tougher, right? Nothing's going to kill me. It's just going to make me stronger. So, you're being encouraged to call upon the inner and outer resources to achieve the outcome you desire. Rather than succumb to the quick fix solutions, shortcuts, or manipulation, you have found the plan and focus, and now you will get what you reaped and sowed. And that's really what's coming through. And it's saying, keep going strong and keep putting through that effort um, because a lot of things are starting to manifest for you in the beginning of 2022. I see this for a lot of people because people have really been busting ass um, <laughs> this year trying their hardest, putting out a lot of good energy, really focused on what they really want and what their intent is. We're not living in the best ages right now, so people are very focused on what it is that they want and feeding that energy of positivity as much as they can. It feels like there's a lot of depression going on in the world where people are really down, but then I see this turnaround um, within the energy where it really just starts, people get upset and it starts pumping them up. And this is really the energy that I'm feeling here is that as soon as I start getting down, I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I can't just roll over and die. So you put in extra effort. Um, and that eff extra effort, Spirit is saying, is what's going to pay off. There is a huge turnaround going on this year, um, especially towards the end of the year. I just want everybody to know um, that you're going to feel this huge shift in everyone on this <laughs> I'm not going to say on this planet, but... <clears throat> A lot of people are going to feel this shift. Let's put it that way. Not everybody's going to feel it. Not everybody's awake enough to feel it. Uh, but there is something huge coming out of this. Um, especially for those in the, in the United States. So during the summertime to next fall, I want you guys to really watch for that shift. There's going to be a huge shift in the United States, um, energy-wise, and things that are going on. So that was also going to empower you. So that's why spirits like keep going on with this effort because you're going to be surprised what's really going to happen. Something big is going to take place. Um, going after those big, bold visions um, with the one and the five, and that's bringing in that six, right? And what is the six, guys? What does the six mean? Well, the six is saying, I have to have this. I have to have this transformation. I have to have this love. It's going to be this transformation of love within the effort, within the big, bold vision that I have, really prospering. See the B up here, it's talking about the effort. Now this is crazy because I want to show you this B. The B is the hardest working, we'll just say animal, even though it's an insect, but it's the hardest working creature, we'll say, on the planet. Everybody knows this, busy as a bee. It's talking about the effort and how busy you are, and it's got a bee on top of her head. So it's showing that your big, bold vision, you are never going to give up on, and you're busy as a bee, bringing that alive. Bees are prosperity. They bring in prosperity. They bring in money. They bring in stability for the home. That's what they do, right? That is what they do. So this is saying, here comes your prosperities. The bee is going to bring in the prosperities, the money, the stability that you need this year, that you've been working so hard for, right? The desires, 
the stability of the red, you know, piece of the chakra coming out. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on over here. So clarifying on the big, bold vision and knowing that this vision is coming to light. And that's what Spirit is saying. I'm going to bring this to life. Here comes your reality. Your vision is coming into reality. And also, I have a transformation over here. I kind of seen this June bug over here bringing in that um, transformation. Architect, building, 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 yeah. Building your empire, no matter what your empire is. I don't care if it's love, I don't care if it's business, it doesn't matter. You're building an empire and it's talking about how you're building this empire and bringing this empire into manifestation. Whoa, wishes fulfilled, there it is. Five, the huge change coming. This is bringing in that huge change um, for you. So the five is the change that's, and then we were talking about the transformation. So yeah, I definitely have that. So your wishes are being fulfilled. You will start seeing the shift within somewhere in January. You will start feeling it. You will start perceiving it. You'll start seeing things changing for you. Things that are going to bring you prosperity, materialistic things, things that you need, things that are going to be inspiring for you. Bringing in, yes, intuitively knowing and growing. And that's because you have the clarity and the understanding to see these things come through. That's why you put in so much effort. No one's going to sit over here and put on this effort if we're not going to see any change in it. No, it's because you knew things were going to happen. So you didn't allow yourself to go out into the cold. You said, I'm going to, if I get into the cold, never say die. I'm going to live. I'm going to do this. I'm going to prosper. And here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Huh. Right? But yeah, and your cycle, and it's talking about that cycle change again, which is the best for your family, for your friends, but you're going to have this huge shift in vitality because as soon as you have the understanding and the clarity that the intention that you had made has finally made it 100, took all year from it going wishy-washy, wishy-washy, up and down, up and down. Is it coming? Is it going? And here it really comes. But this is going to actually put you back on the self-assurity list because now you finally see the cups overfilled. Um, you finally feel like you're exactly where you need to be with the balance of the King of Cups. The King of Cups is very balanced. He knows what he wants and he can see his cups overfilled. So staying in that, in, you know, in that energy right there, you're saying, nope, this is mine. Nothing's going to take this away from me. I work too hard for this. And you're very perceptive about this situation. And you're going to take all the authority and all of the advantage towards it. And you're saying, because I already did this. I constructed this. Remember, I constructed this. I was the architect. This is mine. So you do feel emotionally secure. You're going to perceive everything that you need. And you're going to have probably more responsibilities than you probably had last year. But you're going to say, it doesn't matter. What's the difference? What's the difference? If I'm building an empire, I wanted those responsibilities. That's the whole reason to build an empire. Right? Yeah, because I wanted to become the king of coins. That's who I am and that's what I wanted. But there was a lot of generosity that you gave to yourself. And there's a lot of generosity you're giving to others. So if you guys do, and I just want you to know, for some of you, you might even be hitting the lottery. I just want you to know that. And that's the craziest thing. And you know me, I never say that. But the only reason I see that is because of that and the Ace of Cups coming up with the Ace of Cups with the Ace of Cups, the generosity with the prosperity. So someone may be hitting the lottery, okay, with the Four of Coins and then holding tight. Um, like I said, I don't usually say that very often. That is out of my key rule, but if I see it, I am going to say it. Um, there is also a thing, too, that it could also be, instead of so literal, it could feel like you did win the lottery, and that's a for sure thing. So however you want to see it, whether or not you actually do hit the lottery, um, if you play lottery, could be a huge possibility. Um, for others of you, it's going to feel like you won the lottery. Because you put in all this effort and all this hard work, and it's actually paying off. And boy, is it paying off. Look at all the coins. Look at the Ace of Cups. you got two cups. The King of Cups is completely overfilled. Then you have the Ace of Cups, which was 
fulfillment of wishes, with fulfillment of wishes, with the sun, which is a blessing, which is a promise and a blessing coming through with a cycle change. Yeah, like I said, some of you might be hitting the lottery. So, and you know, it might not even be something you manifested. It just could be one of those things like I thought about it once and I thought that was really cool and I would love to do that. And then you may have taken it out of your energy and then spirit's like, you know what? I want you to have that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Taurus reading. And this was it for you guys. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.